Also in the top row in between the effects units is the loop recorder. It's this little area over here. What you get is another dry wet control and this one acts like a level control for the sound coming from the loop recorder. So for the sound that is in the loop recorder already. Then there's the input control, which is now on main. That means it's uh, all the sound of all decks and effects units combined. But you get to choose from Q, external in, or aux. So very flexible. Let's say if you have your MC on stage, you can record a sample of the voice uh, really fast and play with that. Okay, really cool. So that signal, whatever you choose it to be, is going into the recorder. And here's where you determine the size of the loop you're about to record. It's now on four beats. I click it, eight beats. And 32 is the longest loop you can record. And as soon as the recording's done, it'll automatically start playing back the loop. Let me just quickly show you what I mean. Starts to record and it's now stopped recording and it's now playing. So if I bring down this fader, bring this up, that is the loop that we just recorded. Okay, so what am I to do with this loop? Well, I could just have it play like it does now. But I would have thought I could just grab it and drop it into an empty deck. But guess what? I cannot. However, once I turn this into a remix deck, now I can just drag the loop in there. So it's now in a sample cell. I'll stop the loop here. And maybe I want to empty the recorder now. I can just click delete and it's gone. So it's now playing from the remix deck. We're going to go over the remix decks a lot more in detail later on, no worries. But this is one nice way to record a loop and drop it into a remix deck. And like we saw a moment earlier, you can also select Q as the input. So if I, if I turn up the fader, record this, And there it is. It makes no sense whatsoever, but just for the example, and I can again just drop this into another sample cell. And that is, in a nutshell, the loop recorder. Both the loops are also in my track collection now. They're saved there automatically, which is really handy. Let me open up my track collection here. And there they are. They're now named loop recorder with the date and the time. You can change that. Just click in here, name them maybe loop opium one. and loop opium 2 and so this way i can always call them up later drop them into a remix deck or even a track deck because strange enough that does work from the track collection as opposed to from the loop recorder which didn't work 